Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Pan State webinar. Let me start the talk. Today's topic is Think Like Trump. These are the newspaper headlines the last week. In a historic re-election, Trump wins a second term as Democrats search for answers. The Trump returns to the White House as the 47th president with the Democrats stunned at their loss. Second news, Donald Trump elected U.S. president in stunning comeback. So what prompted me to give a talk on um, think like Trump? Some of my friends who are in India, they asked me, hey, we thought that Kamala Harris would win. In the mainstream media, CNN, New York Times, and Washington Post, they predicted that Kamala Harris would win. Then what happened? In India, whenever BJP wins, then immediately the opposition parties will make this allegation. Oh, BJP won because of EVM manipulation. And there are plenty of people who are ready to believe that. That kind of a false, baseless allegation. And here also, my friends ask me, hey, there are also, uh, could it be because of some kind of a, the manipulation of the EVMs there? So that's why I thought of giving this talk. So many people, they don't know a lot about Trump. The reason is mainstream media, CNN, New York Times, Washington Post, and many other media, they are hostile towards Trump. So they paint him as if that is, he's crazy. He's a psycho. And he is stupid. In fact, no. Trump is not crazy. Trump is not a psycho. And I'm going to share the facts that would substantiate my opinion that Trump is a very intelligent, very smart person. There are numerous books on Trump. Think big, Trump, think like a billionaire, the wisdom of Donald Trump, a book of quotations. This webinar is based on critical analysis of Trump quotes. My dear friends, whenever I make a, an opinion or whenever I come to a conclusion about something, I critically evaluate the facts. TWDH shaped the personality. An individual's personality is shaped by shaped by four factors. So I have created that acronym. T W D H. Thoughts. Our thoughts. If there are negative thoughts, that will create a negative mindset. Negative mindset is not conducive for a successful life. So the thoughts, that is T. 
what kind of thoughts Trump has. Words. Your thoughts that is invisible. Words that is tangible. You can hear. They are right again. You can see. So the thoughts, they are expressed through words. So we are going to look at the words that is the quotes of Trump. Then deeds, actions. Thoughts lead to words. Words will lead to actions, deeds. Lastly, habits. For example, if a person always comes to work on time, that punctuality, that's part of that person's personality. Or if a person gives a word and keeps that word, integrity. So we are going to look at these four aspects of Trump. Eight traits of Trump. One, self-confidence. If you want to put a score on a scale of 1 to 100, Trump will score not 100, he will score 150. Immense self-confidence. He is 78 years old. Even at this age, his self-confidence is very high. Optimism. He was going through a lot of challenges, adversities, numerous legal battles after he lost last time. He was even convicted, convicted felon. He didn't develop pessimism. Still optimistic. Proof he contested. Courage. He survived two attempts of assassination. First one, he just that bullet grazed through the ear. One centimeter change direction. It would have killed Trump. And that time also, he ducked and he got up again. We will in fight. He didn't back off. He went for again campaigning. Oh my goodness. That requires a lot of courage. That one incident is enough to validate that point. Then common sense. We are going to see what the slides, future, the upcoming slides will convince you that Trump has a lot of common sense. Egotism is very egoistic. He brags a lot. Some people are thinking, oh, that is negative. But none of these traits, they hurt him in any way in his political career. So that is the point I want to make. Trump, was, Trump is not a saint. He has got these traits, but these traits in no way stopped him from winning for the second time. Fearlessness. Some people, they are afraid of facing criticisms. 
afraid of facing failure. They avoid risk. No. He is not at all afraid of criticisms, failure. Millions of people and the social media, mainstream media, highly critical about Trump. No. His thick skin quotient is very high. If you have not watched my talk on thick skin caution, dear friends, please watch that one. He's very thick skinned. Outspokenness. He doesn't suppress his feelings, his thoughts. He is very blunt. That also did not stop him or prevent him from winning. Patriotism. Yes, one thing. America first. America first. Make America great again. Strong sense of patriotism. This is not something new. 30 years ago, when he was interviewed, when he was not even a politician at that time, he thought in the interview also, he's talking about how to make America strong. A person with a strong sense of patriotism. Trump on his fans, that is, is a followers. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I would not lose what is. That is in 2016. He was sure then and he's sure now that if he even if he does something wrong, his supporters, they won't let him down. They will be behind him. That kind of confidence. So that is why this time also, yeah, the New York court, yeah, convicted him. From from thirty two or thirty four charges. Then another court convicted him for sexual assault charges. Yeah, he knows. And there America knows. He's not worried. He is not worried. He believes, okay, hey, even if I have done something wrong, they are behind me. He proved this right. He was right then and he is right now also. Trump on egos. Show me someone with no ego and I will show you a big loser. See, that means that he is a person with big ego. And he believes that is if a person doesn't have ego, that person is, will be a loser. Yes. Yes. That quotation makes a lot of sense. Strong ego is absolutely required for success in life. Trombone is intelligence. I'm intelligent. Some people would say I'm very, very, very intelligent. And he's not humble. There's no humility. He thinks and believes he is intelligent. I am intelligent. And he says that one publicly. As long as you are going to be thinking anyway, think big. You must have heard some expressions. Think big, dream big. Those are the self-affirmations, positive self-affirmations. Yeah, his self affirmation. Yeah. So he was thinking big. Yeah, second time. Yeah, become a president. Again, dream big. So those positive self affirmations enabled him to achieve, enabled him to achieve 
success for the second time. And you are going to see a short video clipping. My son, Suraj, he prepared this Trump parody video based on those two quotes. That is, think big and I'm intelligent. Dr. Red DR, I'm excited about your talk on me. Think like Trump. You will rock. And it'll be the greatest success of all time. I like to think big. If you're thinking anything at all, you might as well think big. I'm a very intelligent person. Some people might say, I'm very, very, very intelligent. I assume that you like that Trump parody performed by my son, Suraj. Then Trump's personal experiences include being on TV a lot and watching a lot of TV. I don't know how many of you are aware of this fact. Trump was a reality TV show star for a few months or more than a few years. So he learned everything about how to, how to stand in front of camera. He became a very powerful orator and he learned how to use his body language effectively to communicate with people, to entertain people. So Trump was able to entertain the audience. So that is his gift. I'm going to show some of his expressions which many other politicians, they wouldn't do that in the public. Look at that expression, that gesture. Look at it. Do you think that even ordinary people will have that, will dare to show these expressions in front of others publicly? Trump, very, very expressive. He's an actor. He's an actor. Sometimes, by losing a battle, you find a new way to win the war. This is where you must understand. Thing must be doing, or Trump must be doing, introspection. He, if something goes wrong, if he loses, instead of blaming others or external events, he analyzes, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? How can I do it differently? So learn from the trunk, critical introspection, self-analysis. Take the corrective measures. What separates the winners from the losers is how a person reacts to each new twist of fate. The last four years, my dear friends, Trump was going to different courts, facing all sorts of legal battles. All sorts of legal battles. In some legal he wins, he loses, wins, loses. Oh. Handle. He's very good at managing stress. When somebody challenges you, fight back. Be brutal. Be tough. Be brutal. Be 
stuff. To the best of my knowledge, I was the only person who used to attack his opponents verbally. <clears throat> Name calling. Publicly. He called Hillary Clinton. Crooked Hillary. <clears throat> he called Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe. He called Bernie Sanders. Crazy Bernie. We call Kim Jong Un the little rocket man. And Kamala Harris also. Lying Kamala. <coughs> so he attacks very brutal. The real excitement is playing the game. What did he mean? He was seeing the election contest as electoral games. That is how he used to see, okay, as an opponent, I will fight. I will win. <laughs> Without passion, you don't have energy. Without energy, you have nothing. He loved whatever he did. As a real estate, the Mughal also, he loved, he enjoyed a lot of passion. The same way, when he entered politics, with passion. With passion. How many rallies at the age of 78? How many rallies? Just like Narendra Modi, the age of 74. How many rallies without any rust, without any relaxation, seven days a week? That energy. And I know some of my friends, yeah, one day morning going to another place just for three hour travel to visit some family or friends, they feel tired. Yeah, they want rest. And going for work also to the office on Monday, how they feel tired. If there's a holiday, oh, they feel good. No passion. No passion. So Trump is a man with tons of, tons of energy. Because of passion. If you love what you do, if you love going for, to the office, if you really like it, not just to say it, but really like it, it keeps you young and energized. I really love what I do. That is backdrop is in the White House. Do you know Bill Clinton and the Trump, same age now, 78. And actually, Bill Clinton is two months younger than Trump. But Bill Clinton is a, looks like a old, sick person. Look at Trump. Eh? That is the Because he enjoys what he's doing. It's always good to be underestimated. 100% true. Trump didn't have any background experience of working in the military. He didn't work for government. The first president who didn't serve the army or work in the government position, or he was not a senator, he was not a congressman. First time, just like that, businessman. So all these mainstream media, they made fun of him. This guy, he is going to win? He must be crazy. He must be stupid. So they grossly underestimated him. They enjoyed 
and child just mocking at him. And they gave him white coverage. <laughs> Most of the he didn't have to spend much money also for his campaign. Free, free coverage, all the channels. The free coverage, they were making fun of him. So people watch him more often. They listen to him. And he was able to appeal to their emotions with all his body language. Powerful orator. He won the election. So it is better to be underestimated. If people can just pour into country, this country, illegally, you don't have a country. Behind that, you can see the war. That is why he <clears throat> came up with the idea of constructing a wall, the south, the border. Nearly 450 miles already constructed. I think that this time he'll be able to finish that construction. He claims there are nearly 20 million illegal immigrants. They came through the border, mostly through the, the Arizona and California. The Democratic Party ruling. Just like in India, West Bengal, plenty of Bangladeshis are coming in. Subsequently, they become, they get all these fake ID, Aadhaar card, Ortiz card. They become old bank. Same thing in California also. You won't believe, my dear friends. California is one state. This time, the governor, who is a Democrat, he put an order saying that the voters should not be asked for to provide photo ID. Can you believe it? Voters, no photo ID. The biggest state in USA, just like the UP, Uttar Pradesh, in India. So illegal immigration. And plenty of criminals from Mexico. Like in the USA. So he is fighting against that one. He said that, okay, now when he takes office, charge, he will deport, massive deportation. And he's likely to do that one. He is a man. If he says something, he usually does that. That's when India also, our country, our country, CAA, Citizenship Amendment Act, that is to kick all these illegal immigrants. But unfortunately, that is what the patriotism, India first approach. But many opposition parties, they don't. They are seeing these people as vote banks. So they are creating a lot of confusion. Yeah, oh, citizenship amendment act. Oh, this will deny your citizen. You will be deported. And some people, they get scared. And he was able to convince the public this time. How these illegal immigrants, they are hurting the economy and employment. He was talking sense. And it worked. And my dear friends, for your information, in 2020, when you are the president, the very same year, the election, that is in November, unemployment rate was lowest, lowest unemployment rate compared to the previous 50 years. The economy is very strong. Inflation was low. And what happened in the last four years? The unemployment rate is high. Inflation is high. When the inflation was around 1.2, a couple of years, the last four years, it went up to 6 or 7 percent. My dear friend, three years back, one dozen eggs, that is 12 eggs, used to cost one dollar. 
Now, if one doesn't cost more than $3. Milk used to cost less than $2 one gallon. Now, the one gallon costs more than $4. Inflation has gone so high. The retirees, senior citizens, with the limited that financial resources, they are struggling. They are finding it difficult to make both ends meet. That is where Trump, he talked about inflation. He talked about unemployment. And he talked about his previous track record. Look at how it was when I was the president and how it is. And he said that, okay, the Kamala Harris, Biden team, they didn't do anything to fix these problems. And in one channel interview, one interviewer, he asked the Kamala Harris, the inflation is very high. Unemployment rate is also high. Suppose you were the president instead of Biden, would you have done, thing, done something differently? Her answer was, no, I would have done the same thing. So then, to what is they felt thoroughly disillusioned. Why should we choose this person when this person thinks Whatever Biden did is this right. She's not even showing any apology. So Trump appealed is rational, logical. I have been dealing with politicians all my life. All my life. And I've always gotten them to do what I need them to do. The left side, young Trump, standing on the left side of Ronald Reagan. Reagan. Here, a teenager, Trump. That is Jimmy Carter, president. Because his father was a real estate mogul. Highly successful. So Trump was exposed to politicians, senators, presidents. So he had the opportunity to meet them, observe them. And he was able to learn a lot about the mindset of a politician. Over a period of so many years, even though he was not a politician, he knew mindset of politicians. That became his strength. That's it. So he didn't want to do the same mistake. That is that most of the politicians, they simply talk, talk, talk. People are tired of seeing politicians as all talk and no action. There is always opposition when you do something big. I do many things that are controversial. When people see it, they love it. And right now, NATO faces crisis as Trump gains power. Last time itself, is that we are not going to fund the NATO. Why should we do the funding? 16% of the funding comes from USA. We are not interested in their policies. And he's now again critical of this Ukraine war. He said that he will end the Ukraine war. Ukraine war is going on because that country is getting funding from NATO and from the USA. Nearly more than $170 billion already spent for that, supporting that Kalinsky, is that he will end the war. When Trump was the president, he didn't initiate even one war, not even one war. He didn't let any war escalate also. Whereas during Obama time, the maximum number of bombings were made during Obama period. It is interesting, 
is interesting. It's a real joke. It is. He was awarded the Peace Prize, Nobel Peace Prize. That is what happened. So NATO, I think that is worried. Yes. What will he do? And to continue that war, the selection needs money and arms. So to wait and see. My father would always praise me. He always thought I was the smartest person. His father, Fred Trump. Here is a take home message, my dear friends. Many parents, they don't. They don't give the necessary positive strokes. I'm not saying that you must flatter your children. Flattery will spoil them. If they do something right, they are good at something like that, compliment them, encourage them. That will boost their self confidence, self esteem. That's what I did for my son. You can talk to my son always. Long time back, I told him, you are smart, you are intelligent. Yes, you are doing this one right. Do it, do it. So, Fred Trump played a big role in making this Donald Trump become a highly successful businessman as well as a politician. That is the kind of right parenting matters a lot. Do you mind if I sit back a little because your breath is very bad? I told you, Trump is a very outspoken. He speaks out. Blunt. Larry King interview. Larry King. Very famous. A TV show host, nearly some 20 or 30 years. He must have interviewed more than some 100 or 150 celebrities, the presidents, the prime ministers, the actors. So at that time, Trump was not a politician. He was a highly successful the real estate business person. When he interviewed, and <laughs> Trump told him, Hey, do you mind if I sit back? Your breath smells bad. So that can happen with this Trump. Trump on reality. What you are seeing, what you are reading, is not what is happening 2018. So what you are seeing on TV. On TVs, televisions. What you're reading, newspaper, is not what happening. Trump gives out his fake news awards to CNN, New York Times, Washington Post, and others. Trump calls fake news the enemy of the people. My dear friends, fake news is very common, mainstream media. And we know in India what happened. In parliament election, exit poll survey, almost all channels say, according to as if they are telling the truth or facts. And we also believe BJP will win more than two or three fifty seats. No doubt about it. Almost all channels, all this media. But we know what happened. 350? No. 300? No. 240, that is 63 seats less than what they won last time. Fake news. Then what happened just a couple of months back in Haryana? Oh, BJP will be wiped out. All our survey, opinion poll survey says that Congress will win. Majority, massive majority. BJP will be out. And no, we know what happened. BJP won. That too, more than third time. First time, it got 47 seats out of 90. Second time, 40 seats. 
This time, 48 fake news. Biased. I have stopped believing this, this uh, media. I don't. It is fiction. Mostly fiction. They are biased. This time also here also, CNN, New York Times, Washington Post, and many other news outlets except Fox News. Except Fox News. All these media, they, their editorials, columnists saying that Trump, no, it is Kamala Harris. Now we know what happened. My dear friends, in USA, the states are called, some states, blue states, some states, red states, some states, purple states. When you say a state is blue state, that means most of them, the voters, they will vote for the Democratic Party. Red state, for Republican Party. Purple state, they are called the swing states or battleground states. Nobody can predict. There are seven states that are purple states. And last time, that Biden, six states, purple states, swing states, they voted for Biden. Trump, only one state, I think, North Carolina. These swing states are Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, and North Carolina. This time, what happened? They predicted all the swing states will vote for Kamala Harris. Not even one swing state voted for Kamala Harris. All these seven swing states, they voted for Trump. Fake news, fake news, fake news. He's right. So that's why when he said that quote, what you are seeing, what you are reading, is not is is not what is happening. I have a lot of common sense, and I have a lot of business ability. It is not an empty bragging. He proved when somebody proves that one, that it becomes an indisputable fact. Common sense. I have given it a couple of talks on common sense. According to me, common sense is the sixth sense. Common sense is the sixth sense, and very few people have that sixth sense, common sense. Even though the word is common sense, there is a misnomer. Common sense is very uncommon. Okay, my upcoming talk, every Thursday, I give a talk at 8 p.m. IST. My student is inferiority complex. I myself suffered from inferiority complex till the age of 28. I was able to overcome that one. Then only I was able to accomplish many things in my life. And I know millions of people are suffering from inferiority complex. So that's why I thought, okay, I will share the tips and tricks to overcome inferiority complex. Invisible enemies. Zoom link is same. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it with others. I had to spend a lot of time to do the reading and research. I myself was able to know more about Trump when I decided to give this talk. Trump is not crazy. Trump is not stupid. Trump is not a psycho. Trump is a very intelligent person and he knows what is to be done for the country. He didn't loot any money. You know, Plenty of people, whereas Biden also, there are charges, investigations going on for corruption. Mr. Trump, no such business. 
Thank you for watching this video. See you on next Thursday. Good night.